Joko, how many times have I begged you to stop calling me Ogechi? My name is no longer Ogechi. I am success. Call me success. And you think I will call you that? If you like, change your name as many times as you can. I cannot call you that. Now, answer my question. Where are you going to dressed in this uniform? Joko, you call what I'm wearing a uniform? Yes, it is uniform for the prostitutes. Okay, you are dressed like a prostitute. No responsible woman will ever dress like this. Look at your face. Paint all over. I take that as an insult. But I'm going to forgive you. You know why, Joko? Because you are unenlightened. It will fall. Anyway, I'm running late. Come here. How dare you walk out on me? When I have not finished with you. Njoko. Now listen to me. I'm so, so sorry. I have finished with you. In fact, I finished with you a long, long time ago. I don't have time for you. Let me go and open my restaurant for my evening customers. I don't have your time. Okay, come back here. Okay, come back here. Come back here, okay. My dear, what did you say your name is again? My name is Chica. Oh, Chica. That's a good name. I'm sure my customers will appreciate it. I'm also sure you know that my restaurant is a high class one. Yes, madam. If you must work here, you must be ready to abide by the rules. Our customers have quality reputation. What I mean by quality reputation is that they are highly connected. They are the cream de la cream in this city. They come here to take care of so many of their needs, including eating and feeding their belly. You know what I mean? I I am sure I don't understand you, ma. Okay. What I mean is that if you must work here, you must be ready to please our customers, even when they want you to sleep with them. You understand now? Yes, ma. I understand you, ma. Good. <laughs> okay. All my waitresses wear beautiful uniforms. Uh, well, uh, this is because it helps them to flaunt and showcase their God-given gifts to a very high advantage. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, of course, ma'am. I understand you perfectly well, and I am ready to work for you, ma'am. Oh, you're a very sharp girl. <laughs> It is girls like you that I need in this my restaurant. Thank you, Madam Sussex. That's okay. Uh, about your salary and your allowances. I'm a very generous woman. Your monthly salary will be 6,000 Naira. And then other allowances that will come from your other services. 50% will go to you. And the other 50% will come back to me. All right, madam. Thank you for offering me this great opportunity. I pray I will not disappoint you, madam. <laughs> My dear, there won't be any need for that because here, there's no disappointment. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Let me call one of my waitresses to take you to the dressing room. Uche! Uche! Yeah. I just employed her now as a waitress. Take her to the dressing room and fit her up. 
And uh, you can also explain how things are run here while you are at it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. So, babe. Oh, Tell me what you think. Chica. Well, outside from the little attrition here and there, you look quite fishy enough. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. So I hope I can be able to fetch as you put it. Uh -huh. So tell me, what is it like working for Madame Sussex? Well, well, Madame Sussex, she is more than fair. As long as you keep giving her a 50%, you won't have any problem with that. Trust me. That's fine. So I hope this place is all that is scrapped up because as you they see me so, <laughs> my body needs action. Cool action when I mean action, baby. <laughs> You see, I'm so. See me. <laughs> Check out, baby. I'm hot, baby. I know you're hot. They hot. You do hot like fire. I know so you want me to. I want me to, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't Sorry. worry. Action you will get. That's what, what I want. Action. Take away action. That's what I want. Action, oh, baby. baby. You name it. I guess you know we two are equal to the tax. Che. Hmm? Oh yeah, baby. You mean it? Of course. Oh, so, yeah? when do I start? Babe, you're already in the game. Are you serious? <laughs> Man, this place now. Nah. I'll be pounds and dollars. Obi one. Hey, success. Wow, for that is me. Call me by my name. Pounds and hey, huh? Oh, yes. Success. Uh, hey, welcome. Call me by my name again. Pounds and dollars. You are provoking me to do something. <laughs> huh? oh. You are provoking me to do something. Obi one. Hey, success. Ow, Obi. Ewo fo. Ow. Ewo fo. Success. Oh. You're too much. The only special customer that I have. You look very good. <laughs> you are looking very, very beautiful. Welcome, my dear. Welcome. Hey! Chai! <laughs> you look very good. Hey? Chai! You mean it? Yes. <laughs> that means you are one of the enlightened men I know. Oh, but the success, you know that I'm very, very enlightened. Hmm? That is why I have gotten to where I am today. Or do you think I am lying? Yeah, lie what? <laughs> How can you lie? In fact, I will bear you witness any time, any day. Eh? <laughs> Even your jeep, the newest one outside there. Jay. I will bear you witness. You ah. can never change. Ah, <laughs> I am the only authentic Madam Success. Oh. And to show you how unchanged I can be, I'm a piaggy one bottle of red wine. Oh, Pyamia. Oh! On this house. Success! Check her! Get me one bottle of red wine for all people, all the people, all the and dollars. One in here, in the In fact, you see, this is your kindness. I am going to retaliate. If I don't retaliate, that means my name is not Obi Pounds and Dollars. Eh, 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 eh. Don't worry. I know what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Obi Pounds and Dollars. Uh, hey. <laughs> As I came back, I said I must come here. I know you must see mm? me now. Eh? Hey. Inshallah, I'm going to meet you then. One more one. one Take it easy now. One young. Oh. Take it easy now, eh? Oh. So Take it easy. Chai! <laughs> so say so. You will kill the person. Oh, you need to get go, Jay. You're full with it. Go so close to the way, I this ones you have here, they are just sample. 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 Yes. Mm? Uh, May looking at them, they can cause one to develop indigestion. <laughs> no, 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 no. Obi. On the contrary, my waiters are screened and trained to aid the digestion of my customers. Oh! In that case, piano forward with all the combinations. Now you are talking. <laughs> Pounce and dust. Oh. Oh, forward. When your name, I 
Chick, OB pounds and dollars is one of my esteemed customers. Hmm? My aim is to satisfy him at all costs. Take this food to him. Sit down with him, keep him company, you know? Just make sure he eats very well. No anything he asks you to do, do it. You understand me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I understand you. Oh, God. Very good. You know, take, take the food and to him. Just shake that bumper for me. Shake it well, well. Eh? Shake it. <laughs> Mm, that will be very, very much appreciated. <laughs> Obi pounds and dollars. Hey. <laughs> I can see you enjoying our today's special. Oh, success. <laughs> Enjoyment is understatement. Mm? <laughs> Why will anyone not enjoy this food when I have a beautiful girl with everything? Mm? Everything. <laughs> that, Obi, is our own cure for indigestion. I have been talking Chai. about it. Success, <laughs> success, um, chai. In that case, success. Listen, I am going to take this one away. Ah, uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. you, you know what it takes and now. I need to test the real ofo wale. No problem. Eh, ofo. All the pounds and dollars. Eh? You don't have any problem. Chai. And I'm sure Chica won't have any objection to that. <laughs> no, Obi. Up here, me. In my hair, or no? You know what it will take now. Huh? <laughs> Success. In that case, I am going to pay cash. Tell me what it will take right now. Anyway, you are one of our esteemed customers. I won't charge you too much. Mm, we just have to give us a token of fifty k. Fifty thousand only. Happy I'm get that. Away. Hey. <laughs> Success. Mm -hmm. Hey. Right away. Success. Hmm? Success. Chai. Go put that out. Okay. Four big pounds and dollars. <laughs> Success. What is it by your time? 9.30. As I'm sure you can see, and you have a clock directly opposite you. Yes, I know it is 9.30. I was wondering if you noticed... Noticed what? What do you mean by that? It means, where is my dinner? Are you not supposed to be cooking my... Oh, Biko, 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 Biko. Huh? I don't want your trouble this night, too. Let me be, Biko. Biko. 
Uh, so since when did asking one's wife if she cook or not become trouble? Who else is supposed to cook my dinner if not you? Oh really? All you do these days is to sit in the house. Eh? Why don't you cook your own dinner? What will happen if you cook your own food? Eh? Yes. Okay, did I hear you right? Oh yes. Njoko, you heard me right. All you do nowadays is to lazy about in the house while I go out to do my business and make sure I cater for the needs of this family. Huh? So, if you take up the responsibility of cooking our meals, what will happen? Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> okay, Chi. Are you not out of your mind? Do you remember I am still your husband? Oh, say that. That seems to be a long time ago. Power has changed hands in this family. Really? Mm? Since I, success, will go out to do my business and I have taken the role you are supposed to play as the man of this house. Don't you think it would have been better if you have taken up the responsibility of cooking our meals? What do you think? <laughs> okay, Chi. I am sure you realize the kind of insult you are giving to me. It is still me, Njoku, your husband. Really. Oh, please, please, please save me all that. I am not interested. In fact, I need to have my rest now. See, if you can't find something to eat, lie down here, close your eyes and sleep. It will fall. What is the meaning of this now? Give me the khaki, let me go, go to where I want to go to. Give you which khaki? Huh? You're not serious. I want to go to my shop with this car. I need it. So you can go to wherever you want to go without it. Look, okay, I'm not in the mood for your trouble this morning. Huh? Just give me this car, let me go. In my hand, I should give you the car. Why don't you go to wherever you want to go to? On Okada or, or bus. That will take you to your destination now. Must you go with my car? Your car? car. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but you and I know that this car belongs to us. Both of us. Moreover, how do you expect me to arrive in Chima's daughter's wedding or her car? I mean, it, it, it looks somehow now. Really? Hey! You like good things, though. Okay, my here. You don't want to arrive in a car. Me too. I have my own reputation to protect. How do you want my, my customers to feel when they see me coming down from Anokada? Eh? It will look somehow now. Moreover, I am using this car for the betterment of the entire family. So, you have to see reason. This is unfair, Ogechi. Okay, Why are you being so selfish? You are the one that is selfish. You. And moreover, this Ogechi okay, you are calling me is making me angry. Eh? Your insistence on calling me this Ogechi okay, makes me angry. And I don't like it. But that's not given to you by your parents at birth. So what? What did my poor parents know? Eh? Now I have moved from grass to grace. From sorrow to joy. I am not a success. So that is the name I wanted to call me by. And if I refuse? Oh, if you refuse, then you will continue to see the other side of me. So for that reason, go and enter Canada and go to wherever you want to go to. I will not give you the key. Okay, you come back here. Come and give me that car key. Give me that tag, let me go to where I'm going to. What is the meaning of this? My babies. Oh, mama. I was almost on my way to the shop. Oh, Thank God you are here. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking so beautiful. You made it. Gorgeous. Wow. Man. That's gorgeous. <laughs> mama. Hi, 
This is soup was really super, Mama. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mama. <laughs> Your soup is one of the things we miss back in school. Oh, yes, yeah, so we really missed it. You are welcome, my children. You know me now. Mm -hmm. I am the never changing, unchangeable <laughs> Madam Success. Oh, forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. New orderly of <laughs> Mama the Mama. After all, you're the one with the Midas thoughts, yeah. the unequaled and the unraveled Madam Success. <laughs> oh, forward. <laughs> Elizabeth, my daughter, Mama. you are the true daughter of your mother. Mama. <laughs> so, Mama, um, how's work? The shop yeah. business and everything. Well, as you can see, work is great. It's moving great, and as usual. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't have a choice. That means more money coming in. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes, Come on, you still haven't told me why you guys are back. Yes. Ah. Shouldn't the school, the university, be in such an opt-in? Well, it's um, Mama. Axel went on an indefinite strike, and they've asked all the students to vacate yeah. the school premises. That's why. Axel on strike again? Yes, so. Huh? What is even wrong with these people? Can they ever stop? Oh, Mama, you can't really blame them. It's not their fault, really. I would say, oh, because I mean, it's not. Unf it's so unfair that you work and you don't get paid I for six know. months now. I don't care whose fault it is. Do you know that the way things are going now? Some people will grow grey hair. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, Mama, you have one, one. one in my class like that. He comes with his wife. Oh, oh. Mama, you are very right too. <laughs> but nevertheless, thank God age is still on your side. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Eh? If I'm lucky, some man rich may come and marry you away before <laughs> as a cause of their strike. <laughs> Mama having so much ideas in my head. Mama. <laughs> anyway, my daughter, I have to leave you now. Remember, I was on my way out when you came. Yeah. So let me go to the shop, eh? Okay. Have enough rest. Okay. Take your time. If you feel up to it, you can come out later in the day to the shop and catch some fun. <laughs> Every friend in there, man. Hey, <laughs> Mama, you're so whisky. <laughs> Wolski <laughs> mama! Wolski <laughs> mama! <laughs> success, success. The only reliable success. Madam Cash. A fool that never changes. <laughs> you know what's up now? A <laughs> fool, you look ever young and beautiful. So tell me, what's the secret? Huh. Just look at me, Cash. Madam Cash, what else could be the secret if not that I have moved from sorrow to joy? Cash is flowing. You know, I am making so much money preparing all these medals. Med med eh? And look at me. Well, so what do you expect? I have to look fresh, even take away self. Oh, for wearing name. Are you telling me that all this your beauty comes from your pot of Ofo Or uh, is there any small boy enjoying your pot of Ofo in the background? <laughs> My dear, I am still trying to find out if I will get somebody that will uh, tickle my fancy. Eh? Uh, I know that I have not diversified anyway, but uh, man shall not live by bread alone now. You know. That's what I'm, <laughs> oh, really? uh, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, least I forget. What about your husband in Joko? How is he doing? Joke. Yes. He's all right. He's just there lazing about while I pay the bills as usual. You know now. Now, wow. Men these days who parade the Seba's husband. Let's talk about more important things. How is your business with restaurant doing? My sister, Pitango. Anyhow, mom was one. Uh uh. No, how, no, how. No, how, no, how. And I know you now. How would you can organize? <laughs> Omeka, Omeka, the big team. I hope uh, the food was tasty. Yeah? You enjoyed it? Ofo <laughs> were. You know you have no right when it comes to cooking. 
<laughs> you are saying so. Yes, if what you are saying is so, why is it that you have not been patronizing us here? Eh? You think I don't know you've been going to Madame Cash restaurant? Yes. And I'm sure you know the reason why. I don't know. Uh -huh. The reason is just because you have refused to give me the only one thing I want from you. <laughs> you are very funny. So, upon all the beautiful guests I've been parading for you here, you still want me? Ah, so say, say. Ah, see, if it is not a full way, it is not as a thing as a full way. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. If you want me, I am available, but I am really expensive. Are you sure you can pay my price? Oh, see, just name your price. I'm equal to the task. Am I not if we make again? Is that so? Yes. I should just name my price. Yes. I'll tell you my price. Go. <laughs> Just that. Ah. Just not change now. Really? Is that what Am I not Chief Omenke again? I have I changed from being a banker? See, I am equal to any task. Just name your price. I trust ah. you. I trust you. Ah, ah. I trust you. Okay. Since we are ready, let me go get go my get bag. Your bag. <laughs> my old phone with You're a woman of your own. I know you can stay a little while longer than this. Uh, thank you. Ah, chief, Chief, I know you always have the appetite of a lion. But don't worry, next time. Uh, okay. There's going to be another time. Of course, there'll be another time. Hundred thousand, just to show you how generous I can be. I, I always know that you are a very generous man. Thank you very much. Chief, anytime, just keep your phone open. Call me anytime, and you have me. Really? Of course. You yes. promise? It's a promise. <laughs> so I say, I say. Getting late. What can be keeping Mama at the restaurant? And Papa has um is this a usual thing for Mama to come late? Well, I thank God that you people are seeing for yourself. Your mother is now a free agent. She goes out anytime she likes and come back anytime. She has no time, no time for me as her husband. I'm happy you are witnessing it. Oh, Papa. Mama coming back late from the restaurant late, maybe due to the fact that there are a lot of customers still there. Okay, you still need to understand how a restaurant business is. Well, all I'm saying is that ever since your mother started this restaurant business, she has changed. She has changed drastically. Mm. Okay, um, when you say Mama has changed, what, what do you mean? 
look, look, look at the way she dresses these days. She dresses anyhow she likes. She goes out and come back anytime she likes. I no longer have control over her. The, the worst part of it is that she, 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 she had the effrontery to ask me, her husband, to go and prepare my own meal. Uh -uh. That's unbelievable, Papa. Mama couldn't have said that to you. You better believe it, Elizabeth. The worst part of it is that your mother had the effrontery to go to change her name from Okechi to, to, to success. <laughs> and she wants me to call her that. Well, about the change of name, Papa, I'm sure that you can understand with that. I mean, judging from where we're coming from, you should understand with her and that. The point I'm trying to make is that you should advise your mother that the fact that she's making more money than me does not give her the ground to disrespect me. Okay, Papa, we've heard all you said. We are going to talk to Mama when she comes back from the restaurant. Okay? But you still need to understand that Mama is a busy woman. Yes, but she should not be too busy as to forget her wifely duties. Because she's not too old to revisit her father's house. Because that is what I'm planning to do if she continues. You seem quite in high spirits. Yes! Ah, we had wonderful sense today. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. Mama? Yeah. Do you have a moment? There is something we would want to talk to you about. Can't it wait? Yes. Mm. Ah, these girls. Okay. What is it? Well, Mama, it's about Papa. Your father. What about him? Mama. Yes. Papa complained bitterly how you hardly have his time and that you've changed your name to success. Uh -huh. Is that all? Yes. So, what's wrong with that? Eh? Is there anything wrong in someone wanting to change her name from negative to positive? Mama, okay. What do you mean by negative to positive? What I mean is that since I've been answering Rogechi, mm -hmm. waiting upon God, as the name implies, <laughs> nothing has happened my way as Rogechi. Now I have decided to take up a name that makes things happen. <laughs> since then, I haven't I become successful? Eh? I have practically moved from sorrow to joy. Can't you see? Yes, Mama. Uh -huh. It's undeniable. But Papa also complained about you keeping late nights. And judging from today. Yeah, we find you guilty. This woman has every reason to complain. What does he want me to do? Eh? I should start chasing out my evening customers just to make him happy. Is that what you people want? Mama, eh? nobody wants you to do that. Even Papa self knows that that's where the source of the family money is coming from and nobody wants you to jeopardize your business all we're saying is that be able to find an equivalent like a balance between your family and the job make the man feel special he's just a child in an old man's skin you know certainly show him work here okay i have heard you my children thank you very much eh? but enough of this your father issue i know what your father's problem is his problem is that he, has, he is a mugu. Oh, you're fool. He wants to bring it down to his level. Mama. God forbid. I have stepped up. Can't you see? Look at me. I have stepped up. Oh, my, look, just take it easy, okay? Just take it easy. Nobody wants you down for I'm sure he loves you so much. Mm -hmm. He does. Really. Okay. All he's saying is just show him more care and attention, okay? And um, I heard your husband saying something about him. Sending you back to your father's place. You don't want that, do you? No, <laughs> 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 seriously, you don't want it, Mama. Because it's going yeah. to be
you. Hmm. I can't wait to go back to school for the real cruise. Are you kidding me, babes? All our friends are going to eat their hearts with jealousy. Yes, I know that. Girl, I plan to change my wardrobe with new clothing. That will testify to the fact that I, Elizabeth, have arrived. Are you serious? I'm so happy for you, but seriously, how did you get that money? I never knew such a risk like this. Like saying, okay, it was delivered to me on the platter of gold. Are you serious? Mm. Well, that's good. And I plan to milk him dry. You mean, since he feels that he has too much money to spend. Oh, yeah? yeah? You can say that again. You know what? <laughs> Give me the same. You know what, girl? Let me have that, that chill I'm going to pop this. Oh, yeah? Seriously. Yeah. I am popping it. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, man. Celebration yeah. time, your friend. The, oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I am Oh, yeah? Girl. Go, go. I am popping this. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get back to Hey, mind your mouth, young man. Who are you calling an old man? And who are you, by the way? Chai! Tell this old fool who I am to you. Tell him. Yes, Elizabeth, who is this rude idiot pointing his finger at my face for crying out loud? Well, I'm sorry, Chief. Obi here is um, my family friend. And he usually gets angry anytime he sees me with a man. Chai! What is it? Elisa! Did you just introduce me to this man as your family friend? What the nonsense? W what else do you want me to introduce you as? Please, please, as you can see, I'm busy right here. So if you don't mind, excuse us. Hey, listen, after everything that I've done for you, eh? You are now introducing me to this old fool as, as your family friend. You've had the lady young boy? <laughs> now, get out of this place, quick! Hey, what fool? No, 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 See, see, eh? see, see. Oh, be pounds and dollars or whatever you call yourself. I've told you my name is not Eriza. Please, stop calling me Eriza. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time talking to an illiterate like that. So, 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 so this is all you can say. Hmm? I told you that I caught your daughter cheating on me with another man, and this is what you can say. Hey, I wonder what you want me to say. Eh? What be pounds and dollars? What do you want me to say? Since when did finding a girl standing on the road with a man become cheating? Eh? Let me remind you here. My daughter Elizabeth is not yet married to you. As it is now, she's a free agent. Free! So, so that is what you can say, right? You know that she was a free agent and you allow me to shower her with my money. Eh? So, yes, but you know that I have the intention of making her my, my wife, even my future wife. Mm -hmm. Obi, Obi Pansan, listen to me. Every gift you gave to my daughter was free will offering. Nobody forced you. Eh? You said you have the intention of marrying her. 
until that intention becomes reality. Obi pass and dollars. My daughter Elizabeth has the right to go out with any man of her choice. Success, is that what you are saying? Yes. Chai, success. I am highly disappointed in you. In fact, I am not impressed. It is me that is not impressed with your behavior. Eh? She showed me her body. You battered her. How can a sane man beat a girl like that? I wonder what would have happened if you met her on bed with another man. And forget that, success. That is not even the point here. Uh -huh. Yes, that is not the point. Now tell me, what is the main point? Now, the point is that I am not even interested. I am not interested anymore, success. In fact, I want you to tell Eliza, let her return everything that I gave to her. Let her return my shoe. Let her return my bag. Let her return my money. Even the car that I bought for her. <laughs> I want everything, no. I am serious, so And the pants. The pants. And, and the everything, pants. I want it. <laughs> Even the oh, money that I get to you, oh, the money that I get to you, I, I want it now. Eh. <laughs> Obi, it <will> fool. <laughs> okay. When did people start returning what they gave in Ofogori? It is not traditional. You see your life. And what do you mean by that? At, right now, you should be begging me to beg my daughter Elizabeth. So forgive you and take you back. Said you are here asking for all the things you gave her. Is it not your fellow men that are building houses for their girlfriends? Eh? Eh? You should be building houses for her. If you had built a house for her, bought her the biggest car, those big of water, you wouldn't be talking. <laughs> beg me so I can beg her. Because you too cannot pay back what she gave to you. What about the old four worry she gave you? <laughs> yeah, but the success, the success, you know that you know that what she did to me is not good now. Eh? Eliza is falling on my hand. Mm? Do you know that she even called me an illiterate? Eh? Success, but why? If they call you illiterate, don't worry. What you have in your pocket has made you a big man. I thought I wanted not to come to this place. What are you doing here? Oh, please, darling, please. Please, now, please. Who is your darling? Oh, baby, please don't do this to me. Ever since that day you asked me to leave, I've never been the same. Please, I'm sorry I tried to cheat on you. Please. Please, baby, please. You're sorry? Yes. Uh -huh. Didn't you know you would come back to beg that you're sorry when you were smoking my girl behind me? Eh? Look at you. After all I did for you, I cleaned you up. All you are paying me back with is cheating on me. Darling, please forgive me. I promise it will never happen again. It won't. Are you sure it will happen again? Are you sure it won't happen again? Because next time it happens, eh? Hey. I may not be as nice as I was today. I swear on my dead father's grave, it won't happen again. I promise. It's okay. Get up. Sit down. I believe I can give you a second chance. But be warned, though. Be warned. I can never share with anybody, especially all these twin gum girls. The only person you are allowed to see is my daughter Julia. Anyone else? Hmm. You are in trouble, though. You may not be as lucky as you were today. It won't happen again, darling. It won't happen again. It's a promise. Forgive. Thank you, darling. Chief, chief. 
I'm so happy to see you. You know, I thought I've lost you uh, after that day incident. Uh, no, I see. You know. I wouldn't. I would be a fool to take such a thing to have. I'm sure it wasn't your fault. I mean, that's. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. Oh, come on. <clears throat> think nothing of it. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm so grateful. I would have gone home half naked if not for you. Don't worry about that, okay? Why did you do it? What? I remember you are the guy I met with Obi the other day. I wonder why you came to my rescue. A lot of guys wouldn't do that. The first thing is, I'm not a lot of guys. And the second thing is, you actually looked like you needed help. That's why I came to help you. I, I don't know what to say. Suddenly, I feel so ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. Come on. You don't have to be ashamed of yourself on my account, okay? I don't judge people. And I won't start with you. Now you sound like a saint. <laughs> Eddie. Honestly, I'm not a saint, okay? I do have my own fair share of blemishes. But the truth is, you get to know me and you know more and more about me. Okay. I think I have to take my leave now. I'll surely return your shirt to you, okay? Okay, okay. Alright, you take care of yourself. Thank you, bye. So, why did you do that? What? I mean, playing with the guys. Maybe because I enjoy doing it. Or maybe because that's the only thing I was taught to do. Ah. Thank Sausage. Hey! As usual. <laughs> Your phone has proved to be fired on airport. Yes. The mail I just had now was so fire sumptuous. <laughs> well, I aim at the best. Uh-huh, Mama, um, Mr. Benson has asked me to go out with him for a few minutes and I won't be long. Just a few minutes. No problem. Take the whole time you need. Huh? Have a wonderful time. But right, Mr. Benson. Make sure you take good care of my daughter for me. Don't you trust me again, Sussex? Of course I do. Okay. I trust you. Best of best. Have a wonderful time, eh? Buy something for you when you're coming back. <laughs> What money? What money? Are you asking me what money? Did I come here with you for free? Do I look like your girlfriend to you that will sleep with you for free? Give me my money, Joe. You must be joking. If you think I'm going to give you a dime. What did you do for me? Huh? Tell me. You were practically watching and selling. Come to the ceiling as I did my thing. Okay. So even if you, I was watching and counting the ceilings while you were fooling yourself on top of me, did I open my legs for you to sleep with? Did you sleep with a dog on top of the bed? Did you? Would you without giving my money for it? Just give me my money. No way. I'm not giving you a dime. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think that you are the only man in this city who doesn't know who I am. Rubbish. Just 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I hope this one is complete. Swollen eyes, like you cried. Nothing, I'm fine. Come on, what is wrong with you? I'm okay, Julia. You know, at some point, she would definitely have to talk to me because I am your elder sister. Okay, come on. Um, is it um, Obi? No, it's not Obi. So, what is it, Julia? Yeah, I've never been humiliated like I was in my whole life. What happened? Chief Lambert's wife bad into, into me and the husband at the restaurant. Oh my god. The woman just started fighting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She tore my clothes. Oh. Oh. If not for him, uh, Obi's friend, I would have returned home half naked. Oh, sorry. Oh, how did she know you and her husband were rolling? Honestly, I don't know. Oh. I just feel like maybe he followed the man from the house or whatever. I don't just know. It's okay. Sorry. But did you say that um, Obi's friend helped you? Yes, Emeka did. Mm. He came to my rescue. So worse on the whole situation. I need to return his clothes. And I can't even stand and look at him in his eyes. I even need to return the clothes he borrowed me. You don't have to. See if you're so embarrassed with him borrowing the clothes. Julia, how can you even suggest that? Of course. Oh, please, that's totally unfair. What's unfair about that? You are worried about a total stranger judging you from something that happened that he was opportune to say. Julia, all we've been doing is so wrong. I know, yeah. Save yourself the embarrassment and just burn this freaking clothes. Thanks. I can't. Then you have to face it. Be brave. Why, Elizabeth? Why? You've heard nothing I've said so far. Lizzie. Elizabeth. What is wrong with you? Uh, I. Mm, you were saying. To hell with you, Elizabeth. Now tell me what, or should I say, who has got you this preoccupied? <laughs> who said I'm preoccupied? Even if I am, it doesn't have to be a guy. I know, but you've got, you've got this look on you. And besides, I never said it's a guy. Because I know I said who. Mean, it could either be a guy or a female. A male or a female. I can't believe how brilliant you make yourself feel you are sometimes. Oh, yeah. Whether you admit it or not, I am brilliant. Okay, come up here and tell me who who he is. Alright? Okay. Is this dude that helped me out when I was in dear need? <laughs> so give me details. Details, please. Alright, fine. I went to a restaurant with one of my Aristo mm -hmm. and unfortunately for me, the jealous wife came into the restaurant and bounced on me. She tore my clothes and this good Samaritan offered me his shirt. Oh my god, how chivalrous of him. Yeah, he is. So. This is the end of the story, okay? I know I would be, but you've got me all thinking about him, not so. Bianca, please can you hurry up, let's leave. Great. Now you have this look, you're all flustered, meaning you're attracted to Mr. Chivarius. I don't even know why I told you the story in the first place. Oh, please. <laughs> Harry? 
Mama. Oh, Harry. Oh, listen, Julia, it's not what you think. I can express. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? It's not what I think or it's not what I see. I see you smooshing my mother and you tell me it's not what I see. Darling. Yeah. You must be out of your senses. Mama. Julia, take it easy now, please. Eh? Let's talk, let us talk about talk over it as matured adults, eh? I, I, I know he's your boyfriend. Oh, you want to be matured right now, eh? No, you know. want to be matured. You I know he's my boyfriend, know. and you still went behind us. Oh, no, but you know I love him so much. I just tried to take him away from you. I just came to borrow. No, there is no boy in this one. I used to do it before. I cannot do it now. You know how, how I cherish him. Come on, listen, 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 listen Julia. It's not one thing. Stay away from explain. this. Stay away from this, okay? Just talk from this. I am a mother. Look, I will not share my boyfriend with you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. You're sorry. Bad time. No, no, <clears throat> I wasn't doing anything much. I, I'm, I mean, you came at the right time. So, what do I offer you? Nothing. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I hope someone is not trying to be modest here. Cause no, I no, no, no. Seriously, I'm okay. All right. All right. Here, I brought back your clothes. Ah, wow. I actually was in a spike tonight. Here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Mecca, thanks a lot. I'm so grateful. Come on, you're welcome. It's alright. I wonder what I would have done without you. It's okay. Yo, the only man should drink something I have. Enough drinks in there, I can afford it. No, I'm fine, trust me. Okay. Emeka, tell me, how well do you know Obi Pounds and Dollar? <laughs> I just knew that would have been the first question you would have asked me immediately you sat down here. Oh, well, you've known me too well already. So, if you don't mind, tell me. Well, Obi and myself, um, secondary school mate. Uh, he actually dropped out of school before we could write our final papers. And then months later we met. Suddenly I lost my job. <laughs> yeah, and then um, he also promised to get me a job. So ever since we are still working on it. Oh, I see. No, you've not seen anything. <laughs> Tell me the truth, you don't see anything, right? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to know. <laughs> Please, my daughter, I'm fine. I'm just fine. I thank God I'm fine. So, what is the doctor saying about your condition? He says there are minor injuries. In fact, he has discharged me. I'm only waiting for you to come and take me home. Ah, thank God, Mama. When you called me that you were rushed to the hospital, my mind almost caught up. Eh? Look at my body. See? But tell me, uh, all these pieces are swollen even. But tell this me, Mama, who did this to you, Mama? How did it happen? Juliana, your sister. Julia, Julia did this to you, Mama. Mama, how come now? What happened? I think these questions are best directed to her. Mommy. Okay. No problem. Mama, uh, I'm sorry, huh? Who is this? <laughs> okay, Mama. It's my friend, Emeka. Mama, how am I? Welcome. Hey, Mama, let's go. Eh? Why don't you go and pay the bill? Come and take it's been so crazy and so painful. 
I can't take this pain no more, yeah When I remember how we used to be mm. How we used to share, we used to live together I never knew that someday You would have to leave me alone Adam Okay I've seen the car and it's good. Yes, I know. Yeah, maybe I'll give you two hundred thousand naira for it. Two hundred what? Look, okay, look, this is the space boss. You cannot give me two hundred thousand. Look, it's seven seaters for crying out loud. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait! You cannot do this. You're trying to cheat me, right? You, you, you have cars. You know how much you sell these cars. I can't possibly sell okay, it for two. Okay, okay, you know what? Let me just give you two hundred and fifty thousand naira, and that's final. Because I can't tell, this car might be stolen. No, don't even say that because she saw the papers. They're for my mother. Yeah, like, but, yeah. really? 250 dollars is okay, okay? Let me just give you the money. You want it in cash or check? Cash Any way you're check. giving to me, just give it to me now, please. Okay, let's go. To my office. How we used to be, we used to live in happiness. I never knew that someday. I am talking to you. You will choose to go astray. Your mother said you are the one that beat her up. And I want to know why. Why are you asking me why, Papa? Am I the one that told you I beat her up? Did I come to you, run to you and tell you that I beat her up? She's your wife. She told you that. So why come to me and ask me why? She should tell you. Julia, can you just listen to yourself? I mean, what got into you for Christ's sake, Julia? Look, yeah, Elizabeth. Christ's Elizabeth. Sake. This thing has nothing to do with you whatsoever. Do you understand me? So you better stay away from it. Stay away from it. I can see that you have no respect for anybody. Look at the way you stand in my presence and you talk anyhow you like. You're not even sorry for what you did. Sorry? Sorry about what, Papa? What am I going to be sorry about? Sorry the fact that I beat her up? No, I am not sorry because I'm putting it to your face that I am not sorry. As a matter of fact, as I'm looking at her right now, I want to beat her some more. Uh -uh. Julia, I'm saying you're a mother. Eh? This thing you are doing, you're taking it too far. It's not fair. It's not fair. So you want to sit down there and preach fairness to me? When you did what you did, did you know it was not fair? What happened? Did you realize that it was not fair? Oh, okay, no, wait. Is that what you want? No. So we can judge? No, no. I, I, I didn't mean that. Oh. All, I, all I'm saying is that if you just return my car and leave every other thing, let it be the way it is. I'm ready to forfeit everything, but just return my car. You don't have a car anymore. I sold it. You sold what? Her car, I sold it. Julia, that, that, tell me, you don't mean what you're saying. I mean every word of what I just said. As a matter of fact, I sold it because I wanted to hurt you. I sold it because I wanted to get back at you. It's like a composite of what you did to me. Okay, I can see that there's a lot going on between you and your daughter that you don't want us to know. And the fair mm. Papa. <laughs> She said my car. Nakoso, Nakoso. Yeah, my guy. Nakoso, Nakoso, my man. Eh, what's up, Otto Pan? My guy, the same old story. You just all over the place, looking for a job. See? Oh, don't worry about that one. You see, let me tell you, that one will soon become a strong of the past. Hmm? I am telling you, is it not me again? Obi pounds and dollars. Eh? Oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> I trust you. My guy, it's not you. I know I trust you. I trust oh, you very well. I know what you can do. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Hey, my man, let me call my secretary to give you a drink. Hmm? Uh, you see, just tell me what you want to drink. I have a uh, Vinatinto. I have uh, the ban. I also have Johnny Walks. So just tell me the your brand, what you want to drink. No, Let no, me tell no, you. no, no, wait, wait, Obi. Because I have Obi, wait, 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 wait. I, uh, you, you remember we, we, we talked about my, my CV. Yes, I brought it. Oh, 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 your CVs. Oh. <clears throat> my man, this is great, oh. Your service is very, very good. Oh, thanks. Eh? In that case, I will start to contact my connections. You see, I have a connection in Abuja. I have a connection in, in, in Enugu. I have a connection in Akwa Ibom. I have a contact even in, in, even in Calabar. Hmm? So you don't have any problem. I will make it very, very impossible that you get the job. Do you understand me? You don't have any problem. Hmm? 
Mekoso. Ufu. But God, I, I'm so much, so much grateful. You don't know how much I'm so much grateful for your help. So much. Oh, you don't have to thank me. You don't have to thank me now. Hmm? You will thank me later when you will come with your with your official card. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait for that day. And it's at that day I will buy you a drink. Oh, <laughs> is he talking about a drink? Uh, let me, uh, let us go to the bar so that I will give you this vinatinto. You see, why I wanted to drink this vinatinto? Vinatinto is a drink I bought from uh, Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. And you know, before you can enter Buckingham Palace, it's a very difficult thing. But to pounds and dollars, we'll do that with ease. That's my guy now. Yeah. You know, but, but guy, what about your work? What are you talking about work? Do I look like an employer to you? Eh? I am the CEO OB Pounds and Bellas. <laughs> Don't worry yourself. Let us go to the bar so that you can take a look at all the drinks. Eh? Okay. Let us go. I want you to drink that PND. PND. I don't know, Bianca. Tell me. How could I have foolishly fallen in love with him? How? Don't ask me. I mean, it's a thing called chemistry. I heard when it catches up with you, you would have no chance of running away from it, or do I say invading from it? But seriously, girl, I'm surprised at you. Surprised at me? How? At you, of course. <laughs> Please, I am surprised that you would ever fall in love. And why, if I may ask? Come on, Elizabeth. We both know that you've always been a player. And girlfriend, of course, not as much as your sister, Julia. But, base, a player is meant to always be a player. Okay, Bianca, fine. Now you've known, I'm capable of loving. Okay, 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 fine. So what's stopping you then? Tell this dude how you feel about him. What is there? Hmm? Bianca. Don't you understand? Emeka is Obi Pounce and Dollar's friend. He has caught me twice on runs. Probably I'm not the type of girl he wants. Meaning what exactly? Meaning what exactly, Elizabeth? What is wrong in runs? What's everything wrong with it? Please, don't even go there. Can we change the subject, please? Okay, okay, okay. I've heard you, Madam Lecturer, GNS 401. I heard you. So, what do you plan on doing? I mean, you have to tell this guy how you feel about him. You can't just do nothing. Exactly nothing. That's no what I'm going to do. Seriously? I, I don't believe your birth. I mean, you give yourself little credit. Do you know that? I mean, what guy would see a package like you on a platter of gold and rejects you which guy Bianca you don't get it to you Emeka is a very different person he's a very cool guy it's not just like every other man you see on the street and yeah. you love him yeah I heard you the first time but babes take my advice Tell this dude how you feel about him. If he rejects you, oh, too bad. But if he accepts you, oh, wonderful. Girlfriend, either way, you won't die, okay? So just please come off it. What is wrong with you? God. Julia, I think you've had enough of this brandy. I don't you think you've had enough of alcohol. <laughs> and what exactly do you mean by that? I spoke English, plain English. I mean, how could you chip in yourself with this guy? You've been calling him since when? In the morning? And this is the afternoon? It's not your business. It is my business because he's not even picking up the freaking phone. What makes you a chip, girl? It's not your business. Sorry, madam. My bad. But you know what? I would always talk, you know. Look, that guy, from what I see, you're not his type. Definitely, he's just gonna use you and dump your ass. We'll see to that. Huh? 
the level do? It's duh. How we used to be, we used to live in happiness. I never knew that someday mm -hmm. you would choose to go astray. Hi. Why don't you just have a seat and um, tell me whatever you want and I'll give it to you. But I'm sorry, I'm not here to drink. Uh, I'm actually here to see Elizabeth. Is she around? Okay, so who wants to know? Oh, pardon my manners, okay? My name is Emeka and Elizabeth and I are friends. Uh-huh, I see. I, I remember um, you're the good Samaritan guy. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Please, I... Sorry? I didn't get the meaning of that, but I... No, 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 never mind. It's, it's okay. Um, I'll, I'll call it for you, okay? Elizabeth! You have a visitor. You have a visitor. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Good. It's like I came the wrong time. You guys seem to be quite busy. No, 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 no. It's okay. I'm done here. That's it is now. I mean, you're cool here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then, uh, in that case, why don't we go to somewhere a little cooler, in a quiet place that we can sit and talk? <laughs> I know what you mean. Here yeah, is too crowded, right? Uh, yeah, definitely, it's quite crowded. That's fine, but just give me a minute. Let me go and change. All right. I'll All right. go around. All right. All right. Elizabeth, what? there was something I've been hiding from you. What? You know you can always confide in me. Talk to me. I know it may not be a big deal to you, but it is a big deal for me. And the truth is, I've been thinking about you. I can't get you out of my mind. <laughs> uh, honestly, I know it may sound very ridiculous, but if it's possible for one to fall in love at first sight, then that just what happened to me. Wait, wait. The first day I met you, two guys were quarreling over me. So, I don't get you. I knew of that, Elizabeth. But my heart refuses to judge you. Rather, he has fallen in love with you. I love you. <laughs> Say no more. Please. Just listen, let me finish, okay? I know I don't have what it takes to take care of you, to make you happy, to make you feel the, and be the kind of woman you want to be. I don't even have a job yet. But I promise you one thing. I'm going to love you like no other man has ever loved you before. Say no more. Please, uh, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry for... 
for making people cry. If 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 me declare my feeling made you to cry, I'm so sorry. Shut up, this silly guy. I didn't know how to express it to you since. I was scared you'd tell me that. Why? Come on, Elizabeth. I I would never do such thing. Never. You don't know what you mean to me. I love you so much. I love you so much. has been going on behind my back. Eh? So, Emeka, you have the court to go behind my back and snatch my baby. No. Eh, Emeka? No. Chai! No, no, no. Obi, it's not what you think, okay? It's not what I think. Are you trying to tell me that I did not see you right now kissing my baby? Eh, Emeka? Emeka, but why? No, no. Well, we, uh, she, she, we, Elizabeth and I were just, uh, drinking juice. Elizabeth and you were nothing. I know what I see right now. Eh? Emeka, I see you doing love and you with my baby. Obi, stop being irrational here, please. I'm not your babe. I never was and I will never be. So just get that into your head and get out of my life. Try! Insult upon injury. Eliza, Eliza, you are very, very ungrateful. So after everything that I, I've done for you, Eh? Eh, Lisa? Now let me tell you something. You have no life without me. Confess it. I'll confess to no such thing. What have you done for me anyway? You took me shopping a couple of times and bought me a car? Is that all? Is that not enough? Eh? What have this jobless job hunter done for you? Eh? That you now take the offer away that is meant for me and give it for him to you free of charge on a happy. Eh? Listen, 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 Obi. Let, let, let me just say this, okay? J j just calm down, okay? Like Elizabeth said, you guys, I mean, you just been irrational here. You guys really never had a relationship going. She has explained everything to me. Listen, if you can just tell yourself the truth, you realize that you're the one who's been unfair here. Oh, 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 oh. Emeka? So you and Elisa are now practicing English with me, all right? Eh? You are now joining Elisa to insult me. Hmm? On the contrary, nobody is insulting you. I'm just saying that you, you've been very unreasonable and your attitude is so much embarrassing. That's all. I am talking about the one that you spoke right now. You are even adding another one. I don't blame you. I, mean, I don't blame you. You can go on and on and insult me the way you like. But let me tell you something. You see that job, that job that I promise you, <laughs> kiss it goodbye. Because I will be the last idiot, the last hotel, mm -hmm, to give you that job again after you snatch my baby. Uh, no, no, uh, Obi, just listen to me. No, 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 you listen to me. You listen to me, Emeka. Since I am chewing and spitting on your chest, and you decided to chew and spit on my eyes, eh? In Abubamanya. <laughs> By the time I finish dealing with you in this town, if you see me, you run away. As for you, I don't have any business with you. It is your mother of four weary that I have business with. By the time I finish dealing with you, eh? Of four poor, of four weary. You? Any time you see me, Baba so will run away. I don't want to give Baba so will run away. Don't do anything. Please, 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 sit down. Just an interesting person. What I'm talking about is the job. Oh, please, darling, please. Please, baby, please don't decide to end our relationship just because of the little problem we have with Julia. Please, now, please. What you call little, Henry, please. nearly cost me my life, my daughter, and my marriage. Believe you me, men are not worth that kind of sacrifice. So, 
Get out and let me be. Oh, please, now you mean the whole world to me. Darling, please, 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 I can't just live without you. I said, let me. Let me be. Obi, the, Obi, the one and only Obi pounds and dollars. Bam, 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 so says. This is not time to pounds and dollars me. Eh? Oh, forward. Oh, forward. Uh -huh. As you are looking at me now, I am very, very angry. I am very, very vexing, success. Obi, pounds and dollars. Who is it that has made you angry? Tell Ofo Wede. Tell Ofo Wede. And I will handle the person one time. Bamba, success, I am no longer interested in your promises. Ha. Ah. Eh? Did you not promise me that you are going to talk to uh, Elisa for me? But I talked to her now. She accepted to come and apologize to you. Did I not tell you that? So how come? How come I saw her this afternoon with her chegum boy doing lovey lovey? Hey. How can you say you saw my daughter, Elisa, with her chingum boy? It's not possible. I am telling you what I saw, success, and you're here doubting me. Eh? I said I saw Elisa. I saw Elisa with a maker, my friend, doing lovey lovey. And when I confronted them, Chai, success, they finished me with English. Chai! Are you sure of what you are telling me? I am so sure of what I'm telling you. Eh? I am more than sure of what I am telling you. The most annoying part of it is like uh, 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 Elisa has even given Emeka the awful word. Eh? The awful word that she refused to give to me. Did you say this Emeka is your friend? He used to be my friend, but not anymore. You cannot have such a betrayal as my friend. You're right. But tell me, what, what does he do for a living? Who? Your friend, Emeka. Emeka uh -huh. is a jobless graduate now. I was even trying to help him get a job with my contact. But as it is now, eh, I swear because of God, I am telling you, I will never, never help him again. Ha! Won't be pounds and dollars. Can't you see I'm in trouble already? Eh? Eliza is following a jobless man? No, Peya. Or no, Emeka. Eliza has fallen Mugu. Other than. She has fallen Mugu. Oti go go. You know what? Niva. Let me handle this case. Leave it to me, I will handle it one time. Sase yes. Sase yes. Are you sure? Assurance. Come and sit down. Who will temper? I am trusting you. Trust me. Have I ever paid you? Oh, Sida, why don't you come out open? Or come out clear and tell me who had been stealing from me. Mazin Jopo. I was at your wife's restaurant last night. Okay. Guess what I saw? Tell me. I never knew your wife does not sell only food and things. She says herself, her daughters, and the other one. What's that? How dare you? How dare you look me in the face and insult me? Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Away from that, sir. I was trying to relate to you what happened uh, last night, sir. I'm sorry. Look, look, look. I can see that you have no job to do other than go about gossiping. Eh? Please get out of my way. I have something to do. Be. Now you keep pushing me to the wall. Yeah. Cause I don't know who you are no more. What is this I'm hearing? I'm asking you. Obi pounds and dollars visited my restaurant today and told me something that I don't think is palatable at all at all. And what is that that you'll be pounds and dollars told you, Mama? Obi pounds and dollars told me to Rebecca. That you're having an affair with one penniless Rebecca. Is it true? Yes, Mama. Emeka and I are seeing each other. Besides, Emeka is not penniless. It's just that he lost his job. My God. Elizabeth, are you okay? I couldn't believe it when I heard it. You mean you had to carry all these things and put it into the hands of one penniless, jobless man? Eh? What about it? Is it not my body after all? Mama, didn't you teach me that I can give it to whomever I wished? 
And I wish to give it to him because I love him. You lie. Eh? You lie. Okay. You lie, Eliza. You can never do it to Emeka. I will not allow you to make that mistake. Eh? Not when Obi is dead, waiting to bless you with his wealth. Mama, listen. I'm not in the mood for all this argument. What's this about Obi, 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 Obi? Please, as far as I'm concerned, Obi can go to hell with all his wealth. Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth, Eliza! Do you know what you're saying? Eh? You don't have an idea of what you're losing. Eh? Do you have an idea of what Obi, pounds and dollars, can afford you? I. Your father is too Think about it. Mama, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm not interested. Emeka and I love each other. And I'm sticking with him. Oh, you have to go right away and stick out of, uh, out of him. Eh? Elisa. Emeka is a poor man. Poor men don't eat all for weary. Eh? Obi pounds and dollars has all it takes to make you feel like a queen. Eh? Not that papa. Now tell me, didn't he buy you a car? Eh? Didn't he take you shopping? My, my, my daughter, please, I beg you. Have a rethink. Become. Mama, stop pressuring me. Stop pressuring me. I'm not interested at all. Gone are the days I will do everything you asked. Sissy, I almost allowed you in my life those days. Old. Now, I'm not ready to give it a second chance. Ask for your OB. I'm ready to return everything he gave me. Beginning with his car. Here. This is the car key. Give it to him. I'm not interested. And make an eye can do without it. Oh, wash it. Okay. Eliza, oh gosh, it will fall. Fall, are you? That's your business with him, Mama. Fool! Mm. I'm done with him. I'm out of the position. Hi, Mama. How are you? I'm fine. How may I help you? Ah, uh, Mama, you don't remember me again, Emeka. I was with uh, Elizabeth at the hospital the other day. I'm Elizabeth's friend. Emeka? Yes. Oh! You are the Emeka that tricked my daughter Elizabeth into giving you her for with it for free of charge. Ah. Mama, okay. I, I, I don't understand. Did it? Mama, what is this? Why are you embarrassing my friend like this? Embarrass him? Eh? I haven't even started embarrassing him. In fact, his name changed to embarrassment the very day he lured you and gave you that to do that turned you around. Mama, I don't like this thing you're doing now. I don't like it. Ma ah. Mama, there is, there is something I want you to understand. Yes. You see, Elizabeth and I were in love. We didn't plan it. it I mean, it just, it just happened. Ah! Mama! Shut up. <laughs> Come back here. A second. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. All this humiliation is because of me. Please, I'm very sorry. It's alright, you don't have to blame yourself, okay? I I understand. A, the thing is, is that parent your your mom doesn't like me. I'm so sorry, please. Find a place in your heart and forgive. It's okay, it's okay, it's alright. I mean, come to think of it, she's right. Yeah, I, I don't even have what it takes to take care of you like, like the way you deserve. Don't say that. All that matters is what you give me in terms of love and affection. And that's all I need and I ever want. And I thank heaven for giving you to me. Yes. Together, we must surely weather this storm. Oh! 
Yes, I am. I am Inspector Mike, and this is Inspector Cohn from State CID. You are under arrest. Under arrest? For, for what? I mean, what have I done for you to come and arrest me? I, this, this is unlawful. When you get to the station, you find out what you do. No problem. Uh, let, let me just go inside and change to something. I'll follow you guys to the station. From what you just told me, young lady, your boyfriend is indeed innocent of what he has been accused of. I will release him. Very much, sir. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. Thank just a you. moment. Thank you, sir. Officer, I want you to release the young boy you people arrested today and bring him to my office immediately. Thank you once more, sir. I appreciate it. On the contrary, my dear. I am pleased to be of help. Thank you. Just, sir. This is the young man. You may go. Thank you. Thank you. Another time. Sir. Next time someone calls you people to make an arrest, make sure you have a foolproof reason for the arrest. Police is not an implement for spies. Am I understood? Correct, sir. You may go now. No matter. Yes, sir. We are very, very sorry for everything. Okay, sir. You are free. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Just because of me. Oh. If it wasn't for me, this would have happened. Come on now. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. This is no way your fault. Maybe it's just the price I have to pay for the love you brought to my life. That's but this is unfair. Look at you. Look at your hand. Uh, ah. Oh. It's so unfair. Oh, this is just because of our love. Maybe we have to go our separate ways and no, make a... No, no, no. Don't even suggest that. Don't even suggest that, please. But can't you see? I can't see anything. Absolutely nothing. The thing is, I'm not going to give up on our love so easily. Except you don't love me enough to, 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 to fight for our love. I mean, I love you. You know I do. But look at what I, I don't even know what to say. It's not just right. It's all right. It's all right. I know. I know we are going through a lot, but together, I'm very sure that we will win. This is just our testing period. That's all. I just hope so. I just hope. It's just our testing period. Sorry, baby. Sorry, okay? Sorry, darling. Sorry. Sorry, baby. Sorry. Uh, uh. Thank God. 
Poor Gaido. I'm sure he never saw it coming. Are you kidding me, Bianca? I never knew Mama had such a thing planned. I can't stop blaming myself of what has happened. Come on, Elizabeth. Why? Why would you do that? I mean, how is your mom throwing a matter into jail your fault? Or did you have a hand in it? Obviously, you, you do not. So why would you blame yourself? Bianca, yes, it is. If I hadn't fallen in love with him, he wouldn't have passed through all those things. Really? So, what do you intend doing? I hate him. Mm, I suggested to Emeka for both of us to go our separate ways. What? Bert, what is wrong with you? Seriously, what is wrong with you? Hmm? Wait a minute. I hope Emeka saw that mad suggestion for what it was. Yes, he does what you mean. He disagreed with me. Good. Thank God. At least one of you has their head screwed on right. Seriously, Breath. I mean, how would you want to leave the best thing that's ever happened to you since menstrual cycle? <laughs> You've started again. I can't imagine I could be the best thing that have ever happened to me. Well, girl, you're a woman, so go figure it out. But seriously, listen. You and Emeka are good together. I mean, don't let your mother or whoever rob you off what you guys have going. And guess what that is? Love. I mean, love is the most important thing of all. Do you understand me? Don't. So eat your food. Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, I'll eat your food. Listen, baby. Let's just say I just hit the jackpot. I got myself a job. Yeah. Oh my God, you're kidding me, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm very serious. I just got myself a job. How come I didn't know anything about it? Listen, initially I didn't want to tell you about it because I wasn't sure it was going to materialize. All right? There was this oil company, and I I wrote my application. I sent my application to this oil company, and it's been like eight months. You know, I, I didn't hear from them. So just last night, last night, oh they called me and come out to the office and I got it up over to the office oh and guess what? They oh told me, say, you have won yourself oh. a job with a fat salary! Oh. I love, me, I love you. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 Listen, let me tell you something. You see, as you are looking at me right now, I am very, very vexing. You went here, Gune, when... Uh, I mean, hmm? what are you waiting for? No, 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 I need to see the way of this dance then beat and make her up. Tell me, tell me. It's love by first. It's not, it's not. Is it because I refuse to be his girlfriend? It's not. Look, it's okay, alright? Everything is going to be fine. I am sure about it. You just take things easy, right? Nobody wants to accept Emeka. Mama doesn't even give me the time of the day. I don't, I don't be asked one rather to die than to see both of us together. Come on, come on, Elizabeth. I hope you're not going to take what's his name, Obi, or whatever his name is called. You're not going to take his words to heart. Obi is just an illiterate and a bad loser at that. 
I don't care to know what it is. I just want him to leave us alone. He should leave me and I make her alone. Hey, Obi, pounce and whatever your name is called. Please, just leave my friend and her love alone. What is wrong with you? Huh? Look, if you ever disturb her again, you will have me to contend with. Nonsense. Now I hope. I, I know this. Yeah, I will be a clown, but at least I've gotten the love out of you. <laughs> so, so please buckle up. Tell me about the next job. Okay, fine. <laughs> he got a new job with another new company. That's good. You serious? Yeah, with a fat salary. That's good. Seriously. So, with time, everything is. Please, doctor, tell me the truth. How is he now? Well, young lady, there's no cause for alarm. He has no internal injuries. Sure, in less than one week, he'll be as good as new. Hey, thank God. Thank you, doctor. At least my mind is now not trust. You're welcome, young lady. I'm so pleased to be of help. Hmm. I have to leave now. Please, I'll leave the both of you. But make sure you don't tire out my patient. I so. Oh, oh, sorry. Did I hurt you? Uh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. You're right. Yeah, sorry. So how do you feel now? I feel like I've been run over by a 40 feet container. <laughs> Thank God you haven't lost your sense of humor. Because I'm not going to get married to a man without sense of humor. <laughs> you said you're going to get married to me, so I hold that on you. <laughs> no problem. Just get well soon, okay? So you can come to my parents and officially ask my hand in marriage. Uh, sweetie, do you think your mother will give her consent? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just wait till my mother hears that you now have a job with an oil company with a fat salary. Trust me. That's an uncomplimentary thing to say about one's mother. It's quite unfortunate, but that's the truth though. I just hope you gradually accept it from me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> what do you want? Eh? I thought I told you to stay one hundred miles away from me. Eh? What do you want? Or have you come to insult me again? No, no, that's not why I have come. I just come. So why have you come? Or is it not enough that you've stolen my woman from me? No, no, I've, I've come so we can um, sort this thing out. So we can call you a trace. You see, let me tell you. Hmm? I said I don't have time for all this, your big, big grandma. Eh? Do you want me to call a truck to kill you? Oh, the beating my boys gave to you is not enough for you. Tell me, let me call them now. No. They are ready to give you another beating. They will give you another beating right now. Do you want it? No, no, no. That, that, that's not what I meant. Okay, what I, what, 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 I, what I actually meant was that we can, we, can, we can arrange this thing together. We can solve this whole thing. Now. We don't need to be arguing among ourselves like this. Yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, let me understand you properly. What you are trying to tell me right now? Is that you are going to return like Elisa to be? Uh, and I will take her and it will look as if nothing happened, right? No, 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 that's not what I meant to. Then in that case, we have nothing to talk about. What, what can I discuss with you without Elisa? Eh? Please get out of my office. 
probably listen to their guys who can sort this thing out. We don't need to, we don't need to argue like this. I said, get out of here. Do you want me to call my boys right now to meet you again? Yeah, you come down. I have, has not gotten to that extent? Has gotten to that extent, too. It has gotten to that. Eh? Look at this boy. I thought you come here to tell me that you are bringing back a reason to me. You are coming here. What are you coming here to do? You're coming here to look at my face. Oh, to me. You want me to, do you want me to no, start no, fighting no, you right no. now? No. Eh? What do you want then? Get out from my office. Look at, look at this fool. Get out from my office. Look at, look at, look at the Eru. I know of I thought you are coming back here to bring back my my my, my Elisa for me. You are coming here to tell me that uh, you, you want us to talk like a man. Are you a man? Eh? A jobless hunter like you. Do you look like a man? Nonsense. You don't have to go 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 Okay, so it is true. Who you put your hand on her? I am talking and you are still holding her. You this little boys of nowadays, you have no respect for your elders. Mind that you talk to me, old man. Who are you by the way? Did you hear him? What have you come to do here? What do you want? Okay, I can't believe my eyes. So all these rumors I've been hearing about how you've been prostituting in town, they are all true. Look at Okay, to take a look at this little boy that is not up to your first child's age. He's the person you are allowing to touch your body anyhow. Huh? Darling. Yes, sir. Who is this? I am talking and you are calling my wife, darling, in my presence. Gosh, God, you slapped me. And I will do it again if you don't close your trap. Don't touch him again. Don't you dare. You have succeeded in what you have come here to do, isn't it? Why don't you go? Leave my restaurant. Go! Okay, you, you are throwing me out of your restaurant? Yes. Me, your husband? Yes. Leave my restaurant and go. Eh? Leave my, my, carry your defeated body out of this place. Leave! It's all right. So this is what happens when a woman starts making more money than the husband. There's no problem. I will leave. In fact, I am leaving. But be coming home. I am going to prove to you that I'm your husband in that house. <laughs> Doc, you know you cannot do anything. <laughs> Just go. Carry your defeated body. Your frustrated body. Carry it to your capital's workshop. That's where you belong. And the baby. My dear. I'm so sorry, eh? Man. Sorry for the slap, eh? Oh, with me around. You can, yeah? And so Are you painful. That you're taking me for a ride I can't take this pain no more yeah. Come and see for yourself Can I take this pain no more Yeah, yeah You know how I love you You know how I care about you You know how I need you Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so be around. Uh, Where you be? Oh, I'm his friend, and he's actually expecting me. Uh, go inside. Okay. Said I'm thinking about the way we used to be. Hi. Now you keep pushing me to the wall. Julia, can I come in? What are you doing here? Eh? What do you want? Eh? Have your family not insulted me? Eh, Julia? Negi, Mlemo Fo. One Negi, why? Mlemo Fo. You yourself, you are also coming to do me another Fo. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do you want to come and add another sword into the injury? No. Mba. Please go. Look, okay. That's actually why I'm here to apologize personally. Come on, poor baby. Look, I know that what my sister did to you was unacceptable. I thought, as a matter of fact, it shouldn't even have happened at all. And that's why I'm here personally to apologize to you. To say, we're sorry. Tai! Tai! 
Oluwa bu obi thousand dollars. Poor baby. Chai. Now let me introduce myself to you very well. You see this building that you are seeing here? I have it. Ten piece. I have a 25 container inside the river already. You are calling me a poor boy. See, I have too much money. Anna ma piegi gwe. Julia, your apology is not accepted. So please go. I don't want to see any of your family member. Please go. Okay, I'm sure that you probably don't mean what you're saying. Okay, you're just probably upset. Well, I came here just to give you my body. And this is all you're going to get. Chai. Yeah. Very sure. Immediately. No. Chai. Chai. Can you wear you go forward? Go forward. Chai. 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 Oh, give me. Oh. Chai. House and this is where I will stay forever, whether you like it or not. Oh, it is today that you know that this is your husband's house, Abby. That I'm your husband. Look, you must visit your father today. Maybe you become successful in prostitution. But what is this now? Where do you want to go to? You shut up your mouth. Don't mind your father. Eh? If he had taken up his responsibility as a man, would I have gone out? Mm. Eh? It's not your fellow men that cater for the needs of their families. Instead of you to be grateful that I took up your responsibility, you're here talking rubbish. I go on. Go and hire a microphone and tell the whole neighborhood that you'll be taking care of my responsibilities. Eh? What is this now? Why can't you live like your other family? Mm. There's no one. Oh, Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Good day. Good day. We are policemen from the Central Police Station. Mm. Um, is this the residence of Mr. and Mrs. Njoko? Yes, I'm Mr. Njoko. I'm Mrs. Njoko. You're no longer Mrs. Njoko. I beg you. Well, sir, I'm afraid we brought a bad news, sir. What bad news is that? What happened? You see, we found the body of a certain young lady, um, obviously hit by or killed by by hit and run car. Did you say killed? Yes, yes, sir. Officer, what do we have this early morning to do with the body of a young girl that was killed by a hit and run car? What's our business? Well, madam, we found an ID card 
in the pocket of the jeans she was wearing and it identified her as Miss Julian Jocko. Ah, Julia! Yes. My blood sister! Yes. Hi! Huh? What's the matter? No. No. Oh well, God. unfortunately, it happened. No. But we need you to come and identify her corpse. Said I'm thinking about the way we used to be Now you keep pushing me to the wall yeah. Cause I don't know who you are no more It's so crazy and so painful I can't take this pain no more Yeah, When I remember how we used to be how we used to share, we used to live together I never knew that someday you would have to leave me alone